All right, so we got Roy versus Robin. Yeah. On deck. Now remember the earlier game plan where he pretty much threw it away with all the air dodges. What he's doing now is he's saying, you know what? <laughs> I I faked everybody with a reverse three O comeback. I'm gonna do a reverse three O in both sets. So right here, he's actually gonna purposely lose game one, then proceed to do a reverse three O. I I I I like where you're going with this, you know. Uh, Roy Tom has really shown that you know he. Uh, Really can't be predicted of uh, what he's gonna do with even if we with even his own life. So, uh, truly, uh, next level stuff. So as we start this game one, uh, Emerald is coming from winner side. So if Tom wants to win, he's gonna have to win two sets to make it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what happens from there. You know, already Amaryllis, uh, well, actually Tom with a small lead here, but Amaryllis beginning to close that gap. Yes, yeah, so you right there. Since if, if this was game five, he would have definitely gotten like an F till or M smash, but you know what he did? He said, I have to commit to the reverse 3 0, so I'm gonna do a funny and let you recover. Yeah. All right, humor aside, that was actually really good uh, for sitting here to up till. I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised he got that. I didn't think it worked that late percent. I like when he uh, overshoots in the air. Like I like that he's being. How, how do you say? Like he's overcommitting, but the overcommitment is working very well for him. Like he's doing a lot of these double jump up airs, which are technically risky, but they work because he knows exactly where Amaryllis wants to go. So, I like that from Tom. And I love that too. Ooh, that was nice. I've never, I don't think I've seen that before. He's getting a lot smarter with these recoveries. He's not doing those. It's not just the air dodge, it's also the fact that he's not overshooting the ledge with the upbeat. <laughs> what is with him and getting Trump bears? I don't even know what it is, man. <laughs> Where did he get him here? It was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. I like how you're just like, yeah, just Roy stuff. Just Roy stuff. My man is just saying yeah this? all the time. Oh, whoops. Wait, it was a, I guess it was either I missed a recording or it was a two stock and I didn't realize it right away. <laughs> just look at Pitt, just kill himself for a moment. <laughs> you, had to, you had to display that she's the beat twice. Wow. I did. <laughs> All right, I, I like that little Q conversion there. Getting a solid. Oh wow, they're both at 24.1. Right down to decimal. Yeah, see, I love when he goes for that rising up air. Most Roy's I know try to do like short hop up air, mm -hmm. maybe like fast flip up air. He's like, no, I'm gonna rise up air because I know exactly where you want to go, and I'm gonna guarantee the hit. Super cool. I also love the way he uh, jumps as well. Like instead of committing to like a B reverse, like a B reverse neutral B or side B, he jumps forward but then jumps back and he's able to get some really nice damage. Like he'll jump forward, make it look like he's going for a forward air, instead he jumps back and goes for like an up air bear. Just looks so good. 
Alright, he's gonna take this first stock here right now, Beshi with the in an edge guard situation. Tom overextended with that up B. Alright, he didn't have his jump, but he was still able to make it back to the ledge. And uh, honestly, that anti edge guard turned his uh gave him an edge guard on the left side, but it didn't last very long. Oh my god. Ooh! <laughs> only the second hit, not not the spike box though. Yeah. And he just Ooh. does it! He does it. He's just like, you know what? You know what? I'm at max rage. You're at max All right. rage. Who's the first to <laughs> That That star tail always throws me off. He's so smart. He's so smart when he nails those upward side Bs. He's like, now you're playing a tech chase situation. Nair. And just oh, 60%. So good. Okay, uh, Tom beginning to pull away a little bit, but Nosferatu actually going to make the percent really even. Oop, okay, uh, Tom uh, tried to get some pressure going, uh, but uh, fell short just a little bit. All right, now we got some. Ah, uh, he always ups. He always f smashes forward. He never f smashes back. Which is unfortunate, because you know if he did that, he would definitely nail it. Okay, Amarillo's gonna take the lead this time. Okay, nice read on the jump, stuffing that. Uh. Okay. Ooh, the down tilt. Surprised he was able to down tilt oh. while simultaneously shooting that arc fire. <laughs> Alright, the parry bear. Wow. Uh, parry on the bear to do a BM in. <laughs> Could he, could he have carried up tilt there? I think he could have carried Possibly. Remember, this is doing a really good job running away with this one. And finally going to lose their first, uh, their second stock to that up throw. Okay. He's been slowly. Is that going to be enough? It is. Aerial forward smash from the uh, from below the stage. Wow. The song goes so hard. back with the thunder, lightning, whatever. <laughs> the song is a bomb. Yeah. Where is it from? It's a Sonic Colors song. Ooh. I like that little carry. Jump away. Didn't want it to stand still. 
and get a bunch of shield damage. Nice, going for damage. Yeah, so when you're under a platform, upward side B is usually the way to go. You can get like, chase opportunities, but if you don't have that platform there, you just want to go for the downward version just for that damage. This seems to be like a comfort stage for Tom, unless it's like just well known, really good for Roy. I I, I don't know, but we just keep seeing him counterpick to uh, Town, and just like that, you know, only taking 65 damage was able to take Amaryllis' first stock. Ugh. Ooh. Is it just? Is it only because of the close blast zone? I mean, like I I can understand that, but. Like, I think I think it's the way the platforms are positioned. Like, I think he likes the idea of it being mostly FB, with the exception of platforms on the side. When you have those platforms on the side, you can do some really unique dash movement. Like, from Tom's point of view, it seems like he likes to, instead of going off stage for edge guard, he likes to jump on the side plats and then dash back and sort of intimidate his opponent. So that, that's my take on it. At least. Yeah, I mean, he has a lot of space to do that, so. Projo in the chat being like, nah, it's the close blast zones. <laughs> oh wow, all right, that was untackable too. What a weird, that down smash hit so weird that it like sent him into the stage first, that he bounced off it. Oh my god, Arc all over the place. Mm, all right. Yeah, see, he likes he likes to rest on that. Oh wow, good F smash. He likes to rest on that platform, and then he, he has enough time to dash back on stage and intimidate. Jump, dash back, yeah. God, such a bop. So good. I was like listening to it. And I'm just like, wow, this is amazing. Tom is now one game away uh, from resetting this bracket, or, you know, this uh, Grand Finals. Amaryllis is starting off pretty strong, uh, dealing some pretty good damage, but Tom has taken stage control, oh, but now just briefly loses it, kind of dancing around each other right now. Oh boy, reading the roll, and the other one reading like run up till run up uh, spot dodge or something. All right, now Amaryllis was in an edge guard situation. Let's see what he can do with it, but. Gonna swing too early and actually get hit by the later end of the up B. All right, it's on the ropes. Yep, tried to roll past the setup, but uh, Amaryllis was ready for it and taking that first stock. That, that star KO always gets to me. <laughs> wow, what the hell? The sound huh? she made from that no sarajah sounds like. 
It's like nice and refreshing uh, drink. It's, it's like oh, the Young Link. She's doing it uh, again. Moon milk. It's like the Young Link Moon Link milk drink. Yeah. Ah, this is a follow up. Alright. Tom needs to take this stock pretty much now. Uh. Let's do to seal out this, steal out the stock before Tom is able to put on any damage. Last thing you want to do is uh, have that lead fade away. Nice. Oh my God! What is that angle? Where was he dying? Where is he going? Perfect. <laughs> I guess that answers my question. That is what he's gonna do to uh, prevent that uh, lead from fading away. And now we're back again with a stock lead situation. This is one of the times when you can go tit for tat, and you know it's just like, yeah, nice damage on me, stupid. Because, like, I have a whole stock here, and you're going to take all the damage that's not going anywhere. Mine's just going to disappear. Even if you're able to even take that stock. All right, Amaryllis does not want this to uh, reset. Wow. Ooh. Peace out. <laughs> That was a really smart edge card. I didn't think that would work. Alright, so we're going to game five. That was the first stock where it just like it just came into the fact that like he didn't get the kill there and just kept adding on. Ready? Here you see where he takes this lead. My God, that's this so much happens here. Ugh. Three, let's get the kill. Let's get the kill. One, kill. Yeah, good. Go. <laughs> Back and through disadvantage. Not for long. This is a game five scenario. Yeah. Right now, Emerlus is on the, the cusp of taking this. If he takes this game, then uh, you know, that'll be it for the tournament. Uh, if Tom takes the game, we're going to see a whole nother best of five happen. And, and, and based on previous sets, uh, the, the oh. assumption that could be made based on data here is Tom letting him have a free stock lead and uh, making the comeback. So see, this is the beginning process of it. No, I'm actually really surprised Tom is keeping up here. <laughs> yeah? I really am. I, I, I was amazed because in the winner's set, I was like, uh, you know, he's... he's Kind of messing up off stage. Now it's kind of the complete opposite. <laughs> what? Okay, Tom is officially swag. That was amazing. I love that side view so much. Fourth row, tech chase. Not being able to get it. I think he DI'd that fourth thrown away from him. Get back on the platform. It's weird. Um, I never know when to go for the down throw and uh, F throw. I guess it's just a mix up. 
Gets the gets the fair, but not really able to convert. Nice catch. Ooh, that was smart. Yeah. A really nice catch. Being able to get a little bit of uh, damage off. That well, said though, Max Rage, or just Rage in general, Roy. Gary. Whoa! Whoa. It's like he's messing up his multi hits, but every time he spams them, they connect like individually. So it's like first hit near into like second hit near. And then like first hit near into first hit near. Something along those lines. Um, he's doing better though. His uh, movement with uh, jumps, very good. Uh, knowing that the arc fire will intercept his dash, so he's just flopping responsibly onto the platform. And right there, good movement with the beer verse into the beer. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Scary. <laughs> Uh, this is this is actually uh, from Thomas' perspective. I would imagine he's scared just because he he either gets the kill or dies super early. Like, there's no there's almost no middle ground. Mm. Oh boy! I think no. he gets a little bit more percent. Tried to go for a hard punish, but that move is actually. Uh... You know, quicker than you think. I think he can start going for up throw kills. I think if he pummels, he'll be able to get get him out. I, I think this tournament might be over. I don't know. I, I I'm I'm willing to bet on Tom. I, oh no! I I won't I won't I won't uh count out the explosive nature of both Tom and Roy, but we're getting close, and he's just not able to like get the moves that he wants to seal up the stock. Finally, up throw. Yes. Okay. Okay, now. Oh. Now he just needs to land one hit and he's good. Convert, convert now. Uh, just, just, just evade. Just, 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 just don't approach. No, no, don't approach. By approaching, you're doing a bad job. Oh, you keep getting oh. caught in. No, goodbye. No. And Amaryllis has done it. Why'd he push forward so fast? I got your back. Got your back. We certainly didn't get Krom's back because you just killed his boy Roy. <laughs> hey. It's like, hey, you got I got your back. I killed your best friend. I actually don't know the Fire Emblem storyline, so I don't no even clue, think they know yeah. each other, but they, they probably don't even know each other. I think they're from different timelines. Um <laughs> What is this? You're just pushing forward too much. That that was brilliant. Yeah, so here, uh, Amaryllis is uh, Xeno Wi Fi 34 champion. Oh. Good stuff. I, it, it's really funny. We really saw a lot more of the uh, the the Robin this tournament than we did uh, Bayo. And like the previous showings mm -hmm. from Amaryllis, the Bayo was really uh, like really crazy neutral and crazy setups. But I guess just based on the matchups and stuff, uh, Robin was the one to seal it out. And with that, you know, uh, what was able to be Amaryllis's uh, first Xeno Wi-Fi win. So congratulations.